One of their males here gave 20 pounds. I did the math, it's over $30,000. It's crazy. Oh my God. Hey, you don't want to kiss the cabin? I'm just working on the house. Okay, kiss away, buddy. Kiss away. Yeah. There you go. Oh, he shows some love. Let's see it. Let's see it, buddy. Here, let me hold you up. You got to kiss the face. Kiss this cabbage. <laughs> the muskox farm. So feel free to spread out here on the deck. We are going to spend a few minutes out here before we head out and see everybody. So in 1954, John Teal Jr. founded the idea of domesticating the muskox. He visited the Arctic region and fell in love with it and wanted to see if we could actually have an animal that we could use for farming up here that would actually do very well. It's very hard for us to have cattle and your basic kind of farm animals, mainly because it's so much colder and we have such shorter summers. So he chose the muskox as a species and then contacted Canada and asked them for some of them. They said yes. Oh, this okay. is what they're harvesting off. So we'll have lots of fun. Kivute is the fact it is eight times warmer than wool by weight. It has no barbs, scales, or lanolin on it, so it'll never be itchy and you can't be allergic. It also does not shrink in any temperature water. You can drop it in a boiling pot and it's not going to do anything. So this is safety, and that's Luna. When they're boys, they'll be much thicker. So we always call the girls to have daintier horns, while the boys have the more larger, robust ones. But as you can see, she does have, so this is as tall as she will ever be. Most muskox stop growing in at least height uh, at five years old. However, they will just continuously add weight. I wondered if they were good for meat. She doesn't like the meat. She says there's an oil in it that she's used to moose and caribou. Although they are good for their caveat. It's not wool. It's their fiber that they call caveat. Kivuvu. Kivuvu. They do get a premium price for that. $95 an ounce. And but one of these smells. Well, I will say this. You don't need a whole lot. Like no. The thing that one ounce shows, goes a long way. Yeah. She made a whole like scarf with one ounce, so yeah. you don't necessarily and need a whole lot of ounces. The, the One of their males here gave 20 pounds. I did the math, it's over $30,000. It's crazy. Oh my God. We have a playground here, guys. First, a 400 pound ball to push around and a tire pole for ramming your head into. Yeah, they're fun babies, aren't they? <laughs> I bet you're older than them. They're only four months old. I'm older. You're older? That's good. <laughs> oh, look, they're following us. They're yeah. super cute. They know yeah. something's going on. Yeah. You want to get my skunks? <laughs> they seem like they're kind of a handful. No. Yeah. They're super cute though. Look at this one. Baby Muskox. Someone's gotta come hold it strong. There we go. So I do have more. Here, I bet you have really good, you got strong arms. You wanna come hold this one? Don't worry, they'll notice you in a second. <laughs> Would anyone else like to come hold one? I don't want one. Were well, you holding this one? Lily, can I hold now? You hold this one with Lily. I really want to pet one. I know not supposed uh, to. These guys though. actually swap over to eating solids at two weeks old. And <laughs> <laughs> You like muskox? Uh-huh. And, <laughs> and that is that dad too. That concludes our tour. Hey, Josiah, did you learn anything? Mm, yeah. What did you learn? That they're not good for me or they're not good for riding. Lily, what did you learn? They used to be uh, wild. We can ride them.
golf over there. Then we Why, do you want to ride them? Yeah! Can you say, I love the muskox? I want muskox. Okay, should we go see if we can get Mama a gift? Yeah! No I, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. I didn't it's, the, it. it's the fiber. I don't know. Let's give you a fiber gift, Mom. <laughs> well, I learned that they're lazy. I learned that anything underneath them, like b smaller than them, they think is a wolf. Yeah. And they charge. And there's so. And then if you're taller than them, they think you're you have more power. It's pretty cool. And then their fiber is just worth so much money. But then their fiber is really neat and it like, it does, it, you can wear their fiber outside when it's rainy and you just like shake it off and then the water comes off and it's dry. Like it's really neat. It doesn't have lanolin in it. It's just neat. Here we go, get you some Kid Butte. So this is a one ounce garment. Um, I've seen garments come walking through the door 25, 30 years later. So it lasts a ridiculously yeah. long time. And I'm sure you bundle. felt uh, Grayson's, but if you want to feel mine after being washed a little bit more. I think so how do you wash it? It's, it's a hand wash. Okay. Um, that one? I did. I did like okay. that one. I really like it a lot. Why do you like, what, what do you like about that one? Well, I love navy blue. <laughs> you got her at navy blue, buddy. Yeah, yeah you, have me, you have me at navy blue. I'm glad. Let's see it. Okay. We will see. We all know navy blue doesn't go with black. I know. It'll be okay. I like it. I'm excited. This will be my one thing from Alaska. Oh, it looks so nice. And I nice. like these types of scarves, so. Good. Tell mom it looks good, Mr. Brown. Do you like it? Yeah. Say, it looks good, mom. There you go. Did Grandma buy you that? Yes. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Grandma did buy a mustache. Grandma's spoiling y'all. Yeah, she yeah. is. She's spoiling them. Grandma unfortunately leaves this evening, which is really sad for all so of us. So sad. But we were thankful we got a week with her in this amazing place. Back into Anchorage, about to take Grandma and Big Daddy to the airport. We're gonna miss you guys. Oh, we're gonna miss you too. <laughs> yeah, we'll miss you. But before we go, a quick stop at Earthquake Park. It was one of the largest earthquakes to ever happen in 1964. The Good Friday Quake, a 9.2 earthquake. All right, bye-bye to Earthquake Park. I know. You gonna miss your mom? I am, so is Gideon. Alaska's gonna have to do better to keep Gideon's attention. He's uh, he's already saying he wants to leave with Grandma. Oh. All right, let's take him to the airport, oh, wild man. I'm not opening it. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> You're not letting him out? No. Kids are having a hard time. <laughs> See, when we go home, we go and visit Grandma and Big Daddy. We don't live with them for a week. We've been living with them for a week. His <laughs> hurt won't let him out. Hi. Bye bye. You didn't hug me. Bye 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 no. <laughs> no hugs for no. grandpa. No hugs for grandpa. Oh, I don't die. Bye. Wait, wait, yeah. Alright. Okay, you can go with grandma. Are you sad, Lily? Oh, oh bye, honey. You for me. Oh, we had so much fun. I hope you had fun. I, we did. We will. We will. We will. Alright. Be safe, and if they, for some reason, say you can't go, you just call me. Okay. That's right. You. you come right back. We've been trying to get them to stay this whole time. See you, buddy. <laughs> You're gonna be okay, Rebecca? Yeah. It'll hit you tomorrow? Well, more like I'm at the airport. <laughs> it gives me bad memories of <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> no, I, my mom wants to come and see us again, so. Okay. 
we'll see her again real soon. And uh, maybe we'll see them both again, I don't know. It's kind of sad though. It's kind of like I want to leave now. I know. Like I don't want to stay here anymore. I know. Because they're not here, they're the life of the party. Bye bye guys. Alright, bye. 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 bye bye. Oh, super sad. Super sad. Tomorrow's video though. Lily's birthday. Hopefully we cheered up. You're gonna be how old? Six. Six. And we might go, we're gonna go ice skating. Everything yeah. We're gonna go ice skating. Do it some green part. We'll see. Yeah. She pushing it. <laughs> we'll see about that.